Here are five of our favorite non-barrel proof, non-cask strength whiskeys. First bottle on our list is a bottle that's been getting a lot of publicity lately in whiskey tube. A lot of people really loving on it. We're about to tell you what we think because obviously you care because you clicked on my face. This is Barrel Foundation Bourbon Age 5 Years, a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey is 8 years old. Indiana Bourbon Whiskey is 5, 6, and 9 years old. They really didn't like those, those 7 and 8s. That's because 7, 8, 9. Tennessee Bourbon Whiskey is 8 years old and Maryland Bourbon Whiskey is 5 and 6 years old. The derived mash bill on this thing is in fact a high rye mash bill. 73% uh, corn, 23% rye, and 4% malted barley. Getting into Barrel Foundation, four state blend, five year minimum age statement, although I would say most of it is probably well aged above five years. Mm. Oh, it smells like grape juice or purple drink back in the day. I can see where you're coming from on that. Yeah, very, very fruity. And it's like um, Lady. a cool, I was, I was just about to say cool. Lady. Oh my gosh, are we married? Weird. When you're married to somebody, you all, you have the same thoughts. We're husband and wife, Ooh. but more importantly, we're best off without each other. No, best. Sleeping in separate rooms. No, best. Ending this pointless charade. No, best friends. So very fruit forward on the nose and- Yes, uh, almost a uh, mango. It's tropical fruits. But it is tropical fruits. It's not a finished. Yeah. bottle at all. It is a four state blend, which four state mm -hmm. blends can be beautifully complex. I think that's what this is. Yeah. Age is the first thing that sticks out to me. This okay. thing has got age, it's got barrel influence. And for a hundred proofer, that's only a five year age statement, that finish goes on forever. And it's a really like a vanilla banana bread with maybe some banana nut in it. I think what's interesting about it is the nose is so prevalently fruity, yet the palate is actually a very mature, dark, oaky palate that just has hints of fruit, but the nose is so freaking fruity. Mm -hmm. You think you're getting into something that maybe it's gonna taste like it's finished because the yeah. nose sort of feels that way, even though you know it's not finished. Um, but then it is just oak and maturity and vanilla and brown sugar. I don't think like one flavor is overpowering another either. It's a crazy blend. So the vanilla, the it's almost like a creme brulee caramel mm -hmm. topping or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're all so subtle and they work so well together. It's a very mature, darker profile, but not so dark that you might be turned off by it. So one of the interesting things about this video is the next bottle of booze, which is twice the price of this at the same proof point and also is a blend of multiple different aged bourbons. Let's do Rima 7. Uh, I mean, obviously every major Remus repeal batch is a coveted batch. Um, we have seven, I think we paid a hundred bucks for it. We just saw it in the store for like 120. I wanna see how it stacks up. Hmm. It's very vanilla smelling. To me, that's that quintessential MGP bubblegum smell. Either that Bazooka Joe bubblegum or that Big League Chew shredded pink bubblegum. The powder. The powdered gum, yeah. Which I think that I get that on a lot of MGP that hasn't been aged somewhere else and hasn't been adulterated by a finish or hasn't been blended or Oof. whatever. Just yeah, straight up aged MGP to me is bubblegum. The Remus brings a rye element that the foundation doesn't have. Apples and oranges, I get it but they're both two very hot, very coveted 100 proofers that have a really good age statement on it and they're blended whiskeys. Yeah. You know what it pairs well with? What's it pair well with? Oh, it's stuck out, damn it. Pairs well with an Alec. Where's Jesus? It's in there somewhere. <laughs> an Alec Rubin cigar, Alec Bradley's. Rubin's, what? Damn it. <laughs> Hold on, let me just try to get it. That's not even the right end. I know, watch. That's what she said. What? It's no way to treat it. Mm. Sorry. Oh, oh, what did you do to it? Doesn't look like anybody swept the ground in a while. I, I, I feel like I'm chewing on like a dark leaf of some kind. Mm -hmm. It's not very sweet. It's sweet, but it's not sweet. I don't know how to explain that. I think the barrel tastes much younger than the Remus Rye. I the Remus Seven. I disagree with you. I think that the the foundation, the barrel foundation, tastes older than the Remus, even though I know that it's not. Just because your narrative me gotta agree on everything. Uh, that was just the opposite of what I just said. Oh, funny. I didn't. I wasn't listening. 
You know what's funny? Your face? I was about to say your face, but you beat me to me because we're married and we think the same thing. Chomp. You want to fight this? Look at this. No, I don't. I, mean, I got a hood on. That means I got no peripheral vision. All right, so here's the other thing we got to do, Kira. Outside of debating which one tastes older, we need to talk about which one do we prefer. I prefer the Rima 7. See, I... But could that be because I have an affinity to rise? It's tough. I almost feel like the Rima 7 has too much rye. I think I like the Barrel Foundation better. Hey, David, what do you know about barrels? I don't know anything about barrels. What do, what do you know like, about barrels? It's like when you, you're like, hey, Kira, what do you know about cheese? Well, what do you want to know? <laughs> oh my gosh, if I could have changed my profession because I've become a cheesemonger. Venezuelan beaver cheese? Not today, sir, no. One of our favorite non barrel proof whiskeys in the bar, the much lauded, much appraised and approved oh. Ben Holiday Balden Bond. What I love about Ben Holiday's nose, this has a cigar. Uh, a cigar nose to it. I mean, you were just rolling around a cigar. Just that tobacco mm. leaf, that mature leaf on the nose. It does have a tobacco leaf on it with like a fruity coating. You know how some of those have like a... I feel like acid is too far, the acid cigars, but something that's tamed down from acid. The Swisher Sweets. <laughs> More mature and <laughs> aged than that. Dude, Swisher Sweets are the jam. I don't know why anyone's like, oh, don't, don't smoke those. The palate doesn't disappoint. It is tobacco once again, but with notes of brown sugar. It's, it's, it's like a bourbon, but infused with tobacco elements. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly oaky. It's this beautiful, meldy middle ground that I absolutely love. The more I sip that, the more air it has, the more I love it. Next one. It is the Magi. Now I know we are whiskey mongering to you because we are selling this. I, there are some things that I'll tell you not to buy, okay? And then it won't be on my shop. This one, you got to freaking do it. Look at the three wise men are here. Who do you think they're going to go find? Jesus. This is last year's Magi, the new Magi. By the time this video comes out, it's either out or about to come out, likely in your area. It will likely end up at our store. I'm putting the link down below here. But last year's Magi originally retailed at, I think like $109 suggested retail. Because it's last year's is now discounted on our shop. It is now sub $90. If you have never tried the Magi that's been on our store for a year, there's no better time to try it now. Mm -hmm. No, so this is a unique blend, equal parts, six year MGP rye whiskey and 21 year Palliser rye whiskey, finished in port and sherry casks. Now, smelling this, I think it could be the sherry coming through, sure. but it is really bright, ripe fruit. You're getting a slam of cherry, a slam of raspberry, a little bit of strawberry, because sometimes strawberry is overpowering, so I don't get a ton of that. Um, but that is the fruitiest rye in the world, and it is so good. What is the proof on this again? 107. We will be buying more of these to stock up, to bunker a couple, because literally at $86, $87, this is a mm -hmm. stupid buy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How freaking amazing. And, and I can't believe that you discounted it like that. And clearly we need more. Last, but certainly not least, Wheeler's Raid. I bet you have never heard of this bottle, but you're going to want to hear about it and you're going to want to know about it. Uh, this is actually from Wheeler's Raid Distillery in Nolensville, Tennessee. Uh, this is a 75% corn, 21% rye, 4% malted barley from MGP Whiskey Distillate. This, at the time that this was given and procured, has a running price of $43. Ooh. And it is 100 proof with a just under four year age statement. I can afford $40. So the nose to me is very licorice-y like a Twizzler or actually red vines suck. It's like a Twizzler, maybe a strawberry, maybe a, a raspberry there, but I like that nose a lot. It is charred sugary barrel, uh, a little bit of light vanilla, a little bit of like a light melty caramel. But the thing that stands out to me is how mature this tastes for being two months short of four years old. That's really damn good. Fruit, barrel, fruit, barrel, tit of sugar. Freaking love it. He might be Puerto Rican. At least he's not Mexican. 
<laughs> that is correct, sir. <laughs> Kids think they got it tough today. Yeah. We were winning prank erasers. <laughs> And we go against the grain. So you would not, you want to talk some shit right now. Don't like Firebolt. <laughs> Firebolt sucks. You keep liking Firebolt, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Go yeah. watch. It's like people who eat meat and yeah. don't want to eat meat. Who cares? Fireball is just like people eating meat and not wanting to eat meat. One time I cut up a kiwi and then the next day it smelled like vomit. It was weird. It's a great story. I think it was a bad kiwi. She tells that story at parties. <laughs> Everyone comes, they're like, where'd you get your kiwi from? Guess what? I dye my hair at home now because I can't afford it. And it looks the fucking same. 